for years and years and years, I've heard the rumblings and the talkings of Halloween Town. Now, I know it's a DCOM and I like DCOMs and all, but I never actually really watch Halloween Town. Like, this would be my first time watching Halloween Town. And since it was on um, Disney Channel, they had like a live stream, a 24 hour live stream, like it's still on right now. But, um, they had a live stream. They stream all the movies. So, I'm going to do all the movies. And this is the first one. So, just sit back, relax, get a drink or two. And, uh, this is Halloween Town. So, with me coming into this movie with fresh eyes. Like, I've seen the pumpkin and I, I know what it's about. It's kind of like Hocus Pocus in a way. But, um, with me getting coming into this with fresh eyes, I got to say... I see why people like this movie. I see why a lot of people like this movie. Especially as a Halloween movie. Like, the the, the aspects in it are... I would say they are great. Like they're taken seriously when it comes to, like, um how the monsters are portrayed. And different monsters. Like, the monsters, ogres, trolls, um, warlocks. Stuff like that. They take it seriously when, in, in context when it comes. Now, you get uh, Marnie. And, well... She's mad because she can't go out for Halloween. All the other kids go out for Halloween. But um, her mom doesn't want her to go out because obviously her mom knows something that they don't. So uh, grandma comes. And uh, basically grandma comes in and <laughs> shows her magic. But the kids think that it's uh, Halloween-ish stuff. So they don't. They obviously don't pick up on it right away. Um... So the, the mom and the grandma end up getting into a fight. And uh, she basically tells grandma to go home. The, which one? The, Marnie is eavesdropping. She hears them talking about ghosts and, not ghosts, talking about wizard, wizards and witches and, you know, the powers and stuff. So when grandma leaves, she follows them. And then the brother Dylan follows them. And then Sophie follows them. So now they're all on this bus going to Halloween Town, which is in a different dimension. And they get to Halloween Town, and it's like nobody knows that there's brand new people there. Like, they just accept them willy-nilly, which is okay. Understandable. And then one dude introduces them to the mayor. Now, I'll be honest. At first, I thought I thought it was just one of those normal dudes that you run into that ends up coming back later and helping you out at the end. But it was a different dude than I thought. But, um... You know, we get uh, Mayor Calabar. Now, this ruined it for me. I'll be honest, this did ruin it for me because even though I don't watch the other Halloween towns, I see, I know the titles of them. And one of the titles is Calabar's Revenge. So as soon as they said Calabar, I was like, well, dang, I know he's the villain. Uh, I was like, you know, I thought Luke was going to be the some kind of villain. But, you know, he got tricked up. Um, But... He says, who are you hearing it? And they say, Stonewell. He's like, oh, really? Basically, I was like, oh, yeah, he likes her. Honestly, I thought that was their dad at first. I thought there was their dad. And she lied to them and said that he died. But he's actually a uh, warlock. That's what I thought. But, uh, no, nah, it didn't turn out that way. They just dated. Anyways, um, you had a couple things happen here and there. And they're uh, training to be um, witches. And... Uh, the mother finds out. And when the mother finds out, she gets mad. She tells grandma off. She takes the kids. She tells Marnie off. She grounds Marty. And Marnie's like... <sighs> so she grounds Marty. Marnie. And, um... Yeah, it's the end of the movie, right? Back our pants to go home? No. Nah. Somehow, um... Grandma and... And, uh... The mom get caught in some kind of spell... So it's up to the kids to save them. They need certain ingredients. So also they get a fang. They get ghost sweat. And they're, <laughs> they're being stereotypical to ghost. Can you believe it? Stereotypical to ghost. He was like, hey, that's not funny. Because, you know, she she put a sheet over her head. Talking about, Ooh, he's like, really? You going to really do this right now? But um, they end up doing it. They end up, you know what I'm saying? Getting the spell done. The brother still doesn't believe though. He doesn't quite believe. But when they need his help. He believes. It's up to Marnie. To, to stop Calabar. Everybody. I guess just accepts Calabar turning evil. But 
you know Marnie runs away with some kind of stone or something that some something that he needs and well he ends up getting tricked and then Marnie goes and puts it in a pumpkin it's like a special power in the pumpkin so you put it in a pumpkin and boom everything is back to normal and Calabar is no more so I gotta say even though I recapped it very quickly I was I was actually intrigued with the movie because you know I hear a lot of people talking about it I still have it I didn't think about checking it out myself but when people talking about it I was like okay I can see why they like it I would give it I give it a seven seven and a half eight out of ten I know people are gonna be like that's too low but I mean I do like other Halloween movies more than this just me personally like I think Casper and Wendy is one of my favorites uh Vampire in Brooklyn is one of my favorites Little Vampire is one of my favorites like that I like to watch on Halloween me personally but um thank you for watching this movie review you got anything else you want me to do like comment subscribe and share tell me what you want to do that's Halloween base uh or just anything really prime time it's all the time come on push the button yeah come on push the button push the goddamn button push the goddamn button you heard what she said